what's up guys i just made a brand new double witch deck to crush people on ladder if you go for the regular witch combined with the mother witch all of the skeletons have a lot of damage you're able to get piggies faster than ever and because you've got goblin hut graveyard and two witches your opponent will never know what to fireball or poison and you'll just end up with massive value let's go jump straight some games and assert dominance don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos and a huge thank you to everyone that's using creator code sir tag all the money goes directly back into the channel making the videos better every single day we're jumping right into this game i am ready to unleash the double witch sauce we're brewing something in our cauldron and it is spooky and scary lots of skeletons so if you're gonna go for witch he's just like us maybe i hope he's got two i hope he's my long lost brother from another mother or would he be my sister because witches are girls right i don't know who knows i'll have to wait and see Ah, uh, you are not. You are not one with the witches. You're going to go in for a very interesting decision of fireballing them. You, you don't like witches. You don't appreciate them. Oh, you've got Harry Potter. I think what we do is we freeze. We kill Harry Potter. We turn him into a pig. And we get counter push. This is worth it. The four elixir endeavor is coming down. Oh my gosh, he's got minion horde. This is hilarious. Very rarely do you see minion horde ever played. But I guess this is one of those moments that the man whips out Harry Potter. Hog rider. I don't understand what this is. I'm so confused. But this is what ladder does to your brain. If you play it too long, I'm sure you're going to lose all your brain cells. That's just a fair warning. Okay, I can ice golem kite the skeletons to the other side. Said no one ever, but we are doing that live right now, baby. Kiting the skeletons so the ice golem has more HP. Do I go for a graveyard? I think I have to, right? We're obligated. We've done so much damage to the other side, but I want to bait out some elixirs. That was a dumb decision. Why did I do it? Why did I listen to my inner self? You know, like, you got the devil on one shoulder. You got angels on the other. And apparently, guys, we just listened to the devil. We wanted to donate all of our elixir to the witch. That's not what was supposed to happen. It was not supposed to be part of the plan, but that's what happened. We got to bounce back. Whenever you guys make misplays like that, <laughs> what do you do? Do you get tilted? Let me know down below in the comment section if you get tilted or you get determined to bounce back. Anyway, Spear Goblins are going to be able to get some damage on the right-hand side, so we are sneakily securing that damage that I did not think I was going to get. And we're gradually getting back into this game, you know? Like, we're winning, but I want to get my mental back into this game, you know? <laughs> it's not really played against the opponent anymore. It's played against ourselves. When he goes in for Minion Horde, we're going to Arrows. We're ready. We're primed. We're ready. Let's go, baby! He didn't know that we had Arrows because we didn't show him yet, and we saw the Minion Horde, so I knew he was going to do that. So <laughs> it was an easy calculation, and guys... All of the geometry, all of the mathematical lessons that I've learned in my life, they allowed us to perfectly position those arrows. My math teacher would be proud right now. We're implementing it to Clash Royale. <laughs> oh, man, I hope he never hears that. But you know what? I'm vibing with it. We're Oh, no, maybe we're not vibing with it. That's a lot of damage. I'm scared. Mom, pick me up. We have 30 seconds left. Get me out of this game. Let me put him to shame. Let me win this game. Oh my goodness, this is very scary. Actually, I lied to you. I'm just going to go in for a freeze if I need to. I don't think I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh my goodness, I do. I need to. I need help right now. He's freezing too. It's a fiesta, guys. You can tell it's winter because everyone's running freeze. GG, well played, and peace out. In winter, we are the one that are winning. Let's go. <laughs> Only wins in winter with us. All right, so jumping into this game, we've got Double Witch. So this is going to be one of the craziest decks that I've played in a while. And I'm extremely excited because we've got one of the fastest card cycles, too. So I'm able to get, like, maybe four or five witches on the map. I'm going to ice golem right out of the jump and see what this guy wants to do. If he wants to go opposite lane, we've got the witch. A lot of times, they'll expect you to have a fast cycle deck. Maybe 2.6 hog rider when they see the ice golem in the skeleton cycle. And then they'll be absolutely devastated when they spam. And then their cards are turned into your benefit. When you get little royal piggies spawning at your opponent, combined with skeletons, the combination is spicy. All right, I can graveyard here because he's down with quite a bit of elixir after he drops the baby dragon, right? And I freeze. If I freeze, it eliminates all of the bats, stops the tower, and we have all the power. The skeletons are still spawning. We're able to arrow on the lumberjack in the tower. Lumberjack isn't even able to touch us today. Oh my goodness. This card is broken. I feel like Witch right now is criminally underrated. If you don't know, now you know. We just secured more than half of his tower. That's ridiculous. That's sensational in so many senses of the word. Okay, so since we saw Lumberjack, I expect this to be a clone balloon. Yeah, I think it's clone balloon. Maybe it's not. 
Maybe he's got something different up his sleeve. I expect it to be clone though. So maybe he flying machines here. It might have fireball as well. We want to prevent him from getting too much fireball value. So we always try to cycle our witch first because she survives the fireball. And then we go for a mother witch and we're like, hey, witch, thank you for taking it for the team. The younger sister is going to strive for greatness now because you allowed her to survive. Your goblins are still getting tanked for because we had the ice golem and then we have piggies. Piggies provide endless counter push potential as well. So if you ever play against a fireball lava clone deck, usually lava clone is a free win. Fireball is not. You can definitely lose to that. You got to make sure that you cycle your regular witch first, and then your mother witch packs the punch. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Look at all the skeletons I'm getting because of that. Oh my gosh, she's still alive. How is she still alive? How is she? How do I still have the tower down? I didn't even understand. That goes against the Clash Royale laws and physics, but I physically can cannot contain my excitement when I play this deck. Cycle your witches first, get the value, and the damage per second with skeletons gritting directly on top of what your opponent drops is insane because then you turn more things into Mother Witch because the skeletons put in overtime work. He's just going to keep spamming into me, but I truly believe that we've got this on lock. In fact, if you clone up more stuff, isn't that better for me? Yes. Don't I get more piggies now? Yes. Does that mean more win potential? Yes. Yes. Does that mean that I get to three crown you? Oh, yes. 20 seconds left. We are running down the clock. We got to just clock him real quick. I'm going to try to three crown you, bro. We're going to put you out of your misery in the worst possible way. Because <laughs> that's how we deliver the dominance today. I'm going to freeze here on top of both of the towers. The witch is still spawning skeletons. I truly think if I was just given maybe 20, 30 more seconds, this man would have been three crowned. This deck is utterly dominant, and I am loving it. All right, so jumping into this game, you guys already know, we've got Goblin Hunt. We're a menace with this deck. <laughs> Every single time that your opponent sees Witch, they're like, wait, this guy is just terrible. They don't understand how to play the game. But when they see two Witches, they think I'm insane. And then they don't ever understand how they're supposed to defend it, because you have the skeletons combined with the piggies, and it's a dynamic duo that people have never experienced defending before. <laughs> and when people don't know how to defend it, they're going to mess up. I'm going to Mother Witch here. And we'll see if we have to regular witch. I don't think I do. We're going to ignore the miner because it literally heals towers. If you don't know, now you know. Miner is really useless. He's going to log. Will he try to get a knight down here? Oh, he's going to Valkyrie instead. Yo, I'm just going to skeletons freeze you. Yeah, that's exactly what's up, brother. That's what's going on. My brother from another mother is not having a good time in this game. And he's going to get put to shame because we're easily able to arrow on top of that. I would have had to go for an Ice Golem to kite the Valkyrie to the other side, but since he decided to go and spam spontaneously behind the Valk with the Wall Breakers, it was easy arrow value. So, you know, you let me spend one less elixir than I was going to anyway. Thanks, bro. So whenever we see Spear Goblins, we know that he's likely not going to have any other great answer to us. So I'm going to ignore the Miner. I go for the Goblin Hut. We expect him to go in for a Magic Archer. We'll snipe it with a Witch and then we'll Graveyard. That is the strategy every single time. I love it. I like it. Do you ever look at someone and wonder... What is going on inside their head? I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Yo, that Valkyrie is so confused. She didn't even know where to go. She's somehow not able to reach across. How is she not able to hit the witch? Are they under some, like, treaty? Some non-aggression pact? Like, what is, what is going on? <laughs> I don't understand, but I'm loving it right now. That graveyard was terrible. There, there are not words to describe how grave that graveyard was. It got buried alive, and there's there's no value there. It was just trash. So we live, we learn, hopefully we play better. Uh, okay. I'll Mother Witch on top of those, because those don't matter to me. And I can Skeletons fully... Ooh, I don't know. I didn't drop it right down the middle. I don't drop it right down the middle. Does it still counter? Yes, it does! <laughs> okay. That was so scary for a second. I was like, I've never not dropped my Skeletons right down the middle, so I don't know this interaction. I haven't misplaced those yet. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? You made a prediction on my Goblin Hut. You're actually good at this game. Why? Why are we playing against someone that's smart? That's not allowed, Clash Royale. You know, we're supposed to get some easy matchups with a witch and then just make sure that they don't know which way to go, bro. But this guy knew exactly where to go with that magic archer. That's not allowed. Anyway, we're gonna be able to finish that off, get three little piggies that could. And do we start quitting the left-hand side? <laughs> as dumb as that might be, it might be the play. I could also Graveyard or go for a Witch and then Arrows. I think Witch Arrows is generally going to be the better play if he decides to spam enemy. We haven't seen Fireball, so if you Magic Archer... Yes! Target the wrong thing! That's what I'm talking about, baby! I was like, I was holding my breath because I'm like, I don't know if it targets the wrong thing. And then it did. I was like, yes, sir. Completely calculated, as always. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. 
Look at this. The witch is still going to kill the magic archer. No way. He has to drop a magic archer, but the piggy's tanking. The piggy, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun today. I think this is my favorite deck I've ever made. Jumping into this game, we're dropping the regular witch in the back. And he's also got a witch. Dude, why are there so many witches in this meta right now? Did they know what's good? Did they see me winning so many games in a row? And they're like, ah, oh, I got to run witch too. Oh, I really want to go Ice Golem here. I also really want to go Mother Witch. There's so many possibilities. I got to go Ice Golem instead. I got to make it happen for the memes. You've got a lot of Fireball bait with this deck too, but the Ice Golem is tanking it for the team, making sure that our Witch feels valued in life. Oh, man. He's got P.E.K.K.A. Oh, no. How am I supposed to defend this? This is not looking good, guys. This is really not looking good. So what my plan is, just to freeze straight up, did he rage that? Yo, there wasn't a Lumberjack. He straight up raged that. That was perfect timing for the freeze. I got a bit lucky. I'm not going to lie, but we vibe with it, okay? Magic Archer, stop it. Stop it right now. Target the Piggy. Don't target my tower. Don't target the Spirit Goblin. Don't target the Witch. Good job. He followed directions. He's essentially like a kindergartner now. I really appreciate that. The fact that he submitted to me is like, yes, Jake, I will follow exactly what you're doing. I'm just playing line leader here. He followed the line and he didn't target my tower. Anyway, Magic Archer, pretty annoying. Witch, not that bad. The bad thing is when they stack Magic Archers or they stack like, you know, uh, Musketeers, those are cards that you can't deal with easily because you don't have Fireball. So I need to win this matchup early on, I think. With the Witch, out of cycle, maybe we can do something with the Graveyard. I don't want to showcase my true intentions too soon, though. Oh, wait. Wait? Is this... Is this, like, unlimited piggy potential? Nah, nah, nah. He shut it down with a mini pecky. He's like, get me out of here. I was looking at it like, how am I still getting value? That's a very common occurrence with this deck. You look at the game and you're like, how is this happening? I don't understand. Double Witches should be stupid, but it's somehow working. Why does he have Harry Potter, too? Yo, these guys got crazier deck than me. He's really out here wilding. So I'm going to freeze on top of the Magic Archer and the Wizard, hopefully. Magic Archer, walk up. No, you idiot. No, you were supposed to walk up. Oh, this is bad. Unless we can kill the P.E.K.K.A. If we can kill the P.E.K.K.A., then we're vibing. Then we get a Piggy, and then we tank. So then the Wizard dies. Oh, that could have been so sublime. It was close, but it wasn't exactly what we needed. Arrows, shut it down. Let's go. We can Ice Golem here. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. counter with Skeletons. And I like this. We're still in a good spot. Somehow we're still winning this game. <laughs> right when I say that, he decides to go all in against me again. I don't appreciate. Oh, man. I need to ice go and kite the, the P.E.K.K.A. back, probably. If I don't do that, do I just lose the game? <laughs> Asking for a friend, because obviously I never lose games, guys. I never lose games. Oh, no. <laughs> we're losing the game. <laughs> Yo, miss me. Miss me with that. Don't give him a hog rider hit. Bro. Two times in a row, you snagged some damage on me when it wasn't allowed. Oh my goodness, we gotta bounce back. My mental is devastated a little bit. I thought the double witch domination would never fall into a bad situation. I didn't think it would ever be greasy. I didn't even ever think it was gonna be a sweaty game. All right, I need arrows here. Shut that down. We can ice golem. So then the, the magic archer locks onto that instead of the skeletons. We're vibing with that. We get a piggy. Finish off the magic archer. We don't finish off the magic archer because magic archer doesn't like dying out here. He wants to stay alive to the ripe age of 105. Can we do this? Question mark? Maybe? Yeah? Oh, two piggies! Yes, sir! Oh my goodness, I believe. I believe that fundamentally we got this on, on lock, baby. Freeze! Send him to the Shadow Realm! Let's go! The comeback is real! The witch value in the skeletons! Unlimited potential! If you just get one good push, it snowballs, it steamrolls, and it's like this big boulder rolling down a mountain that they can't stop. That was such a satisfying win, and we are climbing up the ranks. All right, so jumping into this one, we're gonna see what's happening. What's going on, my dude? So he's already crying. Why is he a sad panda? What is going down, man? <laughs> Hopefully your towers, to be honest. Oh, I really want Mother Witch. I'm going to do it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Mother Witch at the river. Stand and deliver. Oh my gosh, he's going to miner for nothing. He thought he was going to get something with that miner. <laughs> Guess what, dude? We don't have miner. We have major damage out here. I'm able to arrow on top of everything. Shut down and preclude the potential of this man defending. We're going to turn his big, thick prince into a big, thick piggy. Oh my goodness, I love this game. It is so satisfying to do something stupid like that and get that amount of value. Mother Witch into skeletons or bats cycled at the river is one of the most ludicrous, sensational plays that you need to start doing. Because as you guys can see, his tower has dwindled down to 1,400 damage and he's going to consistently still spam stuff into me. Oh dude, I want more value. 
We got the Mother Witch out here. You never leave an opportunity squandered. You gotta keep going for Mother Witches. Even though we got one piggy. I think we should have gotten more. I want a refund. I want a recount. I, I'm still okay with the situation. He's gonna Mega Knight on me. And Mega Knight, you would think, does really well against witches. But if it's not able to target the witches, what's it gonna do? What it gonna do when we come for you with the big bad witches? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Oh my goodness, this is such a spooky deck. This guy's gonna have nightmares about it. All of his units just go into the skeletons. He never gets any value. He's got Prince, maybe. I can freeze on top of whatever he drops on defense. I think he left. No, he's at my witch. Why is he still playing? That's a question that I don't have an answer to. <laughs> the game is definitely over, though. Now for something completely different. Any questions? Oh, he's laughing. Let's go, guys. You know when you make your opponent laugh, they're not laughing. They're crying a little bit on the inside because they just lost a double witch spam. This deck is the brand new meta that you need to start playing. Like, subscribe, and have an amazing rest of your day.